Aloha everybody, my name is Trevor Ozawa. I was a golfer in high school at Kamehameha Schools. I've been golfing for about 26 years now. I want to say thank you to Olukai for having me on Anywhere Aloha Fridays. And uh, here with my daughter London. The first step in getting your child to golf uh, with you or just getting them interested in golf is when you go to the golf course, if you're a golfer, take them with you. It's as easy as that. Uh, we took London to the golf course when she was uh, three years old and took her to the driving range and just hit a bucket of balls. Uh, she didn't really hit any, but I think she was holding a club and was trying to make a couple swings, but mainly she was watching us have fun and practice and just an enjoyable time. The next tip is to keep it fun and don't push too hard. The third tip is to teach your kid the fundamentals of the game, chipping, putting, and how to hit the ball. And also the rules of the game, because it'll go a long way. If you build a solid foundation based on how to play the game right, you know, uh, what the rules are, where to tee off from, where what happens if a ball goes out of bounds or in the water, how to hit the ball out of the sand, chip and putt. It's gonna go a really long way and you're gonna set your kid up for success in the long run. Good job. I got started in golf when uh, my dad got me a golf club that he found on his way to work in the middle of the night um, on the road. He picked up a Callaway Big Bertha driver and he gave it to me and I just started coming to the driving range actually here at Olawai and my parents, you know, would drop me off, pick me up, uh, give me $10 or 20 bucks for lunch and balls and I just kind of hang out here and uh, sometimes I would play with my cousins as well. They would come down and we would just stay here day and night and practice all day and eventually I, when I was old enough to work, because um, I started golfing at about 13. When I was 15, I ended up working at Wildlife Country Club so that I could uh, actually practice a lot more there. And they're very supportive uh, of junior golfers. And so it was a great time. And luckily, I found the opportunities by the support system. Like I said, friends, family, cousins, um, and golf courses supporting Keiki Golfing here in Moy. Tip four is to get your kid involved in youth programs like Casey Nakama Golf or the First Tee. Uh, my kids got involved in, in that when London was, I believe, six and Ava was about, I think, three or four. Uh, we got them involved in, in those programs and just great programs. You don't even need to have any equipment. They'll provide you some and they'll teach the kids the fundamentals. They'll teach them life lessons and uh, They'll be better people and golfers. You always want to line up where you're going. Practice. Visualize. Right, London? Yeah. Is that what I teach you? Yeah. Behind the wall, visualize it, practice. It's like you guys were the yellow. No. Going past it. I think the fifth tip that we have for you today is to help incorporate life lessons into the golf game so that your kid can take away uh, something more than just the game of golf. You know, teaching them about integrity, about honesty, about perseverance, learning from your mistakes, not looking back, you know, moving forward and always improving. 
nobody has ever had a perfect game of golf and uh, that's like life nobody there's no perfect way to live and we all try to improve every single day show a little bit more aloha every day that you can and uh, that's all we can do and we can teach the keiki and our kids how to how to do that uh, through golf and through being role models in, in uh, how we carry ourselves in life as well so I want to say thank you again to Olukai for the Anywhere Aloha Friday series and uh, for having me and my daughter on. We hope uh, this helps your keiki get involved in golf. Aloha.